Okay. I'm at the Trauma booth with Lloyd Kaufman, the owner and founder of Trauma. How you doing, Lloyd? I'm doing great because um, this is a New York uh, Comic Con and the uh, Trauma team is very, very, uh, how shall I say it, uh, mortified to uh, be here and uh, be spurned by the establishment. Uh, so, um, how goes the uh, Volume 2 for Return to Nukem High, and when can we uh, see a famous project? That's a very good question. Uh, volume 2 of Return to Nukem High tonight, October 9th, is it? Uh, midnight at Videology in uh, Brooklyn, there will be a focus group, a secret screening of the rough cut uh, work in progress, uh, and we'll have our fans uh, give us some input uh, to make the movie better. Uh, it hasn't been color corrected. We expect to have Return to Nukemai Volume 2 completed by the end of the year. That's uh, 2015. Um, so, what can fans expect from Volume 2? Well, I don't want to be a spoiler, but um, if you've ever wanted to see Uncle Lloydy uh, without any clothes on, uh, you may see Uncle Lloydy with a complete uh, nudity scene. Sold! It's pretty disgusting, but I don't want to be a spoiler. But people say, well, you know, you make men get naked and the, the penises are in your movie and, and you have naked women. So it's only fair that I be naked. Well, there you go. So where do your ideas come from? Usually from the newspapers, because what's in the newspapers uh, uh, is much more uh, disgusting and much sicker than anything that could come out of Lloyd Kaufman's adult brain. Uh, it, let's say somebody, for some godforsaken reason, never heard of Troma. How would you describe it to them? Well, uh, Troma, for those of you who do not know, is sort of the, I don't know, Ingmar Bergman, Terrence Malick, uh, Michael Lee of the uh, underground. Uh, we make movies. Uh, in fact, Poultry Geist, Night of the Chicken Dead, is a shot-by-shot -shot exact remake of uh, Steven Spielberg's Schindler's List, except that uh, uh, Poultry Geist is not as hilarious as Schindler's List. Why, uh, why is Toxic Avenger remained a cultural icon after all these years? Well, the Toxic Avenger, like all trauma movies, uh, pretty much uh, is about the underdog. And we have many underdogs around the world. And uh, in fact, we have, because I'm uh, not, uh, how shall I say it, male chauvinist, there are many under bitches around the world, and the trauma represents the underdog, and Toxie's the ultimate underdog. Uh, uh, so I think that has a lot to do with why Toxie is so, so popular. And he's, in fact, the Toxic Avenger is being remade in a hundred and fifty million dollar remake by Akiva Goldsman, who wrote uh, a beautiful Behind, which won the Oscar for um, best screenplay. No, Beautiful Mind. Sorry. I get the two things confused because no, right. I have up, I have my head up, my behind. <laughs> okay, you did get to do a little cameo in Guardians of the Galaxy. How was that? Well, uh, James Gunn wanted me to do so much more in Guardians of the Galaxy, but I'm very, very busy, and I, you know, I'm very shy, so I agreed to do my two-second uh, close-up in Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, but I just didn't have any more time. Uh, so, otherwise, I know that James wanted me. And I know he wants me in the sequel because I'm, uh, you know, I haven't put any pressure on him to put me in his movies. Uh, you know, I, I haven't, uh, <laughs> I'm very, uh, you know, how shall I say it, discreet. But uh, I'm very grateful for my two seconds. And James Gunn, as you know, did not write Schindler's List, but he did write Poultry Guys. No, he didn't write Poultry Guys either. He wrote Tromeo and Juliet, possibly our best uh, uh, gyno or, or oriented movie. Gyno is how we say non male. So, any other projects or things you'd like to promote right now? Well, we at Troma don't promote because nobody goes to see our movies or buys anything, so we don't need to promote. It's very liberating. That's Peter Jackson's. He's got the problem, or George Lucas with the Star Wars coming out. I don't have to worry about that because we are economically blacklisted. So, the only thing I would like to say is that. If we have a trauma channel on YouTube to thank our fans like you for 40 years of, of supporting trauma. We uh, thank them by having trauma movies on YouTube. Trauma movies, 250 free movies, plus cartoons, plus my world famous make your own damn movie, movie making lessons, 
And every day we put up new uh, content on Troma Movies on YouTube. So you should su uh, subscribe, you guys out there and, uh, in Troma land. All right. Thank you so much, Lloyd. Pleasure. By the way, Troma Movies is all free. And there are many buried treasures there that you cannot find anywhere in the world but on Troma Movies, including the Toxic Crusader yes. cartoons. They're everywhere. And look who's here. It's none other than Katie Cochran. Oh, hello, Katie. I, do. I think you already spoke with me earlier. Well, he was just asking about volume two of Return to Newcomb High. What oh. do you know about that, Katie Cochran? What I do know is that you can see an exclusive sneak preview of the working cut in a test screening tonight at midnight. It's a secret, so don't tell anyone. At midnight at Videology tonight, before it hits theaters, you can see the working cut. And look who's, wow, it's a toxic adventure. Come on in, Toxie. Hello, Hello Toxie. Hello. You and Katie, so okay. what, what can you tell us about uh, Comic-Con and fast-breaking news? You know what? It's been nothing but uh, one big adventure after another. Met a lot of new interesting people. You know what? Funny thing about Comic-Con. I could go into a grocery store, uh, buy organic kale, and everybody looks at me rather funny. But here I fit right in. It's amazing. I find it funny. It's full of giggles. Been fighting any crime at, at uh, Comic-Con? Um, how much crime do you think a room full of nerds can really do? <laughs> All right, I think most of uh, 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 most of their Ubers and, uh, and, and and parents usually keep them in, in line. But you know what? Nothing's uh, nothing but golden hearts in the bunch and everything like that. So not much crime here. Lots of super villains, but this is where I find that they come to do a little vacationing. Maybe come and eat some of the chili dogs in the back and uh, relieve themselves at the nearest restroom. Yes. Well, any final words, Toxie? Uh, yes. Uh, as a uh, permanent resident in the uh, city of Tromaville, uh, I find there's no greater place to be and no great place for it to be present than anything else than our grand home, Troma Entertainment. There we go. All loves and giggles here, people. Thank you, Toxie. And remember, the monster loves you. <laughs>